Today we're talking about the Promethean 500 Interactive Whiteboard. And whenever we talk about the Promethean 500 Interactive Whiteboard, we're really focusing on three points in everything that we talk about it. First, it supports four points of touch. Now what does that mean? Well, unlike other interactive whiteboards, you can actually get four students alpha out of their seats, up at the board, working together, and they can all be manipulating images and information on the board all at the same time. Because again, it supports four points of touch. And it, uh, one of the great things about that is that it also only recognizes intentional touch. And what does that mean? Well, uh, other whiteboards, if you put your hand on the board or if you make a, uh, an unintentional gesture, it'll recognize that as something like an erase, uh, erase gesture or it'll move the board. The Promethean 500 won't uh, react that way because it's programmed to recognize only intentional touch. So you don't have to worry when you have young learners at the board doing writing exercises, leaning. Your lefties like me that need to uh, put their hand firmly down on a surface as they're writing, doing anything to interrupt the lesson. It's not going to be recognized as an erase mark. The board's not going to move. Again, the four points of touch don't allow for that. Now, we also uh, talk about that it uses uh, Promethean 500, utilizes pen and touch technology. It's a huge deal. So not only are you going to be using the pen at the Promethean 500 to do your writing exercises, manipulating images, but you're also going to be, have your students at the board using touch technology. And the cool thing about that is touch technology is already something that students are used to. Everybody at their home, they have things like iPads, they have Android tablets, they have smartphones. These are all gestures that students in today's classrooms are accustomed to making and all of these touch, uh, touch functions are going to uh, react to those natural gestures so they can flick, they can pinch, they can resize, they can rescale. Again, this is technology and functionality that students are already used to that you can now apply directly into the classroom. And the third point when you talk about a Promethean 500 interactive whiteboard it encourages collaborative learning. The whole point is to get everybody engaged. We're building a 21st century classroom and the Promethean 500 goes a long way to building that. You get the students out of their seats interacting directly with their lessons. Now today we have in the studio Tess Arnaud who's going to be showing off one of the most fantastic features of the Promethean product family and that's active expression. It's their learner response system and you're going to see Tess do some pretty amazing things with that. So with that I'm going to go straight to Tess. Tess, take it away. Today we're going to talk about how to facilitate a large group discussion. We're going to be using Noteboard that you can get off Promethean Planet and we're going to be using our learner response systems, the active expression. On the Active Expression, you have a full QWERTY keyboard, which is really great because that texting that kids have become so good at with their cell phones, now they can use them in the classroom. You can use the Active Expression and the student, no matter where they are in the classroom, can text in their answers. It's really great for those students who might feel shy or a little uncomfortable talking in front of the class, they can still participate in the discussion. So let's say we're going to the zoo next week and we're going to be taking a field trip we want to talk about habitats. Let's get the whole class involved brainstorming what habitats we think we might see at the zoo. First of all, I'm going to start my word seed. When you start the word seed, then all the students in the class can use their active expression to send in that information. You can also have a student at the board writing at the same time. So let's say we're going to add desert as one of our habitats that we think we might see can change this to text. We can move it and we can and we can connect it just like we have the other answers. So we have the mountain, the jungle, the forest, and we can move those around to continue our discussion. So let's say we're going to talk about the forest. What animals we might think we might see in the habitat. Again, we have to start that word seed. So now we're going to drill down. What animals do you think we would see in the forest? Why would they be in the forest? And we can continue that discussion. Again, every student is involved because they have a way to participate, even if you have students that are on the board. This is a way to continue conversations. Now, we go to the zoo next week, we gather information, we find out about habitats, we come back. We can save this information so that when we come back, we can go back to it, we can rearrange. So let's say we see the pandas, we see the cougars, but maybe when we went to the zoo, we didn't see a bear in the forest. We could take that off or we could simply rearrange it because we've saved it and we can refer back to it. Using the learner response system and Noteboard, 
is a great way to get everyone involved in those large group discussions using pen, using touch, all with that Promethean 500 interactive whiteboard. Well, that wraps up today's installment of LogicalChoice.tv. I would like to thank you for tuning in today. Until next time, I'm Chris Brenneman. <laughs>